This video shows you how to add and edit pay items. Set up items specific to your business, which you can add to employee templates, making it quicker to run the payroll. Let's take a look. Select the Payroll tab from the Zero dashboard. Choose Payroll Settings and click the Pay Items tab. Zero groups pay items into categories, such as earnings, benefits, deductions, reimbursements, employer pensions, leave, statutory pay, and earnings orders. Review the pay items in each category and add extra ones your business needs. We've already got regular hours, overtime hours, and bonus pay items. You can see the details, including the rate and the expense account, to which Xero will post the pay. If you want to edit details, we can click the Earnings name or the Overflow menu and click Edit. The Overflow menu allows you to mark an item as inactive or delete it. You can not delete an item you've used in a pay run or assigned to an employee's pay template. You can only mark it inactive. Once marked inactive, you can show or hide items using the toggle below the pay items. Let's quickly update overtime hours to twice the ordinary earnings rate. Click Edit, change the multiple, then click Save. You'll see confirmation that the item has been updated successfully in Xero. Now we need to add a couple of other earnings items. First, we'll start with the director's salary. Some businesses post the director's salary expense to a separate code from the employee salaries. We can do this by setting up a new earnings item and choosing the appropriate chart of account code. To add the account, Click Add. The list contains all the different earning types you can set up, such as tips, lump sums, and termination pay. The director's salary is a regular earning, so we'll choose that from the list. Complete the earnings name and display name as needed. If you don't add a display name, the earnings name will appear on the pay slip. Let's enter director salary in the earnings name and salary in the display name. Then select the expense account where we can code the amounts using a different profit and loss code from the staff wages. We're using the zero default chart of accounts, so we'll choose code 478 for director's remuneration. Finally, click add to complete the process. We can see the new earnings type in the list. Another typical example of coding wages to a different chart of account code than salaries is for cost of sales workers. If you have employees involved in directly producing goods or delivering services, you may code them to direct wages in the profit and loss account rather than salaries. Moving on, we often pay our staff commission. So let's add that. Click Add, then select Commission from the drop-down menu. Complete the earnings name and the display name as needed. You can enter an amount, but as this is optional, we'll leave it and enter the specific amounts during the pay run. Finally, select an expense account, which we'll choose as code 477, Salaries. Then click Add to save the earnings type. Now we've added the earnings items, let's move on to benefits. You can only view and add benefits if you're registered with HMRC for payrolling of benefits before the start of the tax year and have selected the checkbox in your organization's tax information. You must report employee benefits using form P11D if you haven't registered with HMRC. We can see two existing benefits set up private health and in the other category, gym membership. Use the overflow menu to edit or delete the benefit types, then add others for your business. First, we'll delete the gym membership as we don't offer that as a benefit.
click the overflow menu, then select delete and delete to remove the benefit. Remember, you can only delete items you haven't included in a pay run or assigned to an employee. Next, let's set up a company car benefit. Click add, which will display the new benefits you can select. We want to add a company car, so we'll select company car. Use the DVLA lookup link to find details about the car. You can also click the Zero Central link to learn more about company car benefits in Zero. We've checked the details with the DVLA to complete the fields on the screen, including the make and model, registration number, registration date, fuel type, and CO2 emissions. Then we must enter the manufacturer's list price, including VAT and accessories. The price might differ from the amount paid for the vehicle, so check the internet for the manufacturer's price for benefit in kind purposes. Enter the amount, then click Add to finish the process. The company car item in the list will be available to add to an employee's pay template, where the benefit will be calculated based on the information specific to that employee. Continue to add the benefits relevant to your business. Let's move on to deductions. Here is a list of existing deduction pay items, including student loans, private use payments and pensions. If you're using one chart of account code for your total HMRC payroll liability amount, edit the student loan deduction chart of account code to the same code you've used for the PAYE and NI liability. Once you've added your workplace pension for auto enrolment, Zero automatically adds a deduction item. You can identify the workplace pension deduction as the details are locked down because they're linked to the workplace pension scheme setup. You'll need to add other pension schemes outside of auto enrolment, if relevant, and any other necessary deductions. Let's add a deduction item for childcare vouchers. First, click Add and then select Childcare Vouchers from the list. Enter a deduction name such as Childcare Vouchers. Choose the calculation type from either percentage of gross or fixed amount, then complete the relevant figure. In this example, I'll choose fixed amount and add £243. Then select the liability account. You may need to set up a new chart of account code to track the amounts owed to the childcare provider. Finally, select the checkbox if the deduction reduces employee pensionable earnings. If you select the checkbox, Zero will calculate pension contributions using the employee wages minus the value of the childcare vouchers. Click Add to complete the process. Continue to add deductions as needed. Now, let's take a look at reimbursements. If your employees incur costs on behalf of the business that you reimburse through payroll, add items here. Zero has the most common items set up for you. You can add other costs specific to your business using the Add button. For example, you could reimburse the internet costs for employees who work from home. Two important points to know when adding a reimbursement are the amounts will not be subject to PAYE and NI as you've added them to the reimbursements category and to ensure your financial information is accurate and business costs are categorised correctly, select the most suitable chart of account code in your profit and loss account, such as telephone and internet, for reimbursing employee costs when working from home. Next up, we have employer pensions. As with deductions, Zero adds the employer pension item if you've added your workplace pensions for auto enrolment. If relevant, you'll need to add other pension schemes outside of auto enrolment. Let's take a look at leave pay items. Leave items allow you to set up employee leave entitlements 
so that they can request time off based on your leave policy. Xero already has holiday as ordinary time off available to your staff. However, you might need to add other leave types, such as study leave, well-being leave, volunteer days, or even a day off for their birthday. Let's add some extra leave items. First, click Add, then select whether the leave is paid or unpaid. Let's select Paid Leave. Enter the leave name, such as Paid Study Leave. Then, select the liability and expense accounts. If you don't choose accounts here, Xero will automatically use the standard chart of account codes set up within your organization settings. Select the Show the Balance to Employee checkbox to include the balance on their payslip and My Payroll account. This is a good way for them to monitor the time taken and entitlements remaining. Finally, click Add to finish the process. Let's add unpaid study leave for employees who need to take extra time off beyond their allocated study leave. Click Add, then select Unpaid Leave. Enter a leave name, I'll add Unpaid Study Leave. As this is unpaid leave, we don't want to show the balance on the employee's payslip, so we won't select the Show Balance to Employee checkbox. Keep adding leave types until you've entered everything you need to allocate time off entitlements to your employees. Next, we have statutory pay. Zero has pay items for adoption, bereavement, maternity, paternity, parental and sick pay with both pensionable and non-pensionable options. As Zero has pay items for all types of statutory pay, you can't add any items to this category. Zero automatically calculates relevant amounts for statutory leave during the pay run process. The final category is earnings orders. Zero has typical earnings orders set up, but if you need to add more, click add, then select priority order, non-priority order, or table based from the list. Zero doesn't calculate the value of earnings orders, so you will need to do the calculation outside of Zero and then enter the amount relevant to your employee. For more information, visit the gov.uk website and refer to correspondence relating to your employee's earnings orders. Once you've reviewed and added pay items for your business, they'll be available to add to your employee's pay templates, helping you save time running payroll.